So it looks like there's more and more crippling news about mining that keeps coming out in the gamer's favor, but not in the miner's favor. And so we have something new to discuss today about Ethereum ASICs coming out. So this is an article from CNBC, which was sent to me by one of our patrons. Thank you so much, JC, for uh, sending that on over. And guys, don't forget that we do have a Patreon if you want to support the UFD Tech channel. The link will be in the video description for that. No obligation, of course, just mentioning to you. But again, thank you, JC, for sending this over. And the title of the article is Analyst slash AMD NVIDIA Price Targets on New Cryptocurrency Mining Chips from China. Now, the interesting part about this article is not that we have new cryptocurrency mining chips that we have seen before. We have the Bitcoin miner, we have the Dash miner, we have the Litecoin miner, we already have ASICs and then as we also released a video about the Crypto Night miner that is coming out uh, very shortly within a couple of months. It definitely appears that the ASIC mining companies that develop these specialized chips have been breaking the seals on everything that was quote unquote ASIC resistant for quite some time and now we're actually seeing the leaks come through and we're seeing all of these Cryptocurrencies that had their heyday in the sun for GPU mining are now being broken by these intense ASICs. So this is an analyst who lowered their views on AMD and Nvidia stock for upcoming uh, for the upcoming quarters, reducing the rating to negative from neutral and lowered its price target for AMD shares, citing impending competition from cryptocurrency mining company Bitmain. Now Bitmain, if you're not familiar, are the ones who make the ant miners, which are the most popular ASICs that are on the market bar none. So they said that during their travels through Asia last week, we confirmed that Bitmain has already developed an ASIC for mining Ethereum and is readying the supply chain for shipments in 2Q18, which is basically April through June. April, May, June. Yeah, April, May, June. So that's Q2. While Bitmain is likely to be the largest ASIC vendor and the first to meet the market with this product, we've learned of at least three other companies working on Ethereum ASICs all at various stages of development. This is incredibly interesting because for the longest time, Ethereum was the primary currency that a lot of people were mining. Of course, there's other smaller altcoins that plenty of people have picked up like Monero or Electronium or Zcash that allows them to earn higher profits. But for, for, for the longest period of time, Ethereum held the top crown as the best coin to mine second to Bitcoin with, well, firstly, if you had a GPU. So that's taking that out of the equation basically removes a ton of profit from the GPU mining industry to begin with, and it just completely douses the hopes of anybody ever needing to use a mining GPU ever again. Not really. That's too, that's too far. That's, that's way too far. Right, you're being hyperbolistic. Calm down. So the rest of this article is about the fact that they believe that the stock prices of Nvidia and AMD aren't gonna be worth as much because a large portion of their sales from this past quarter or this past year have been from cryptocurrency mining, citing that around 20% of AMD sales and around 10% of Nvidia's revenue came from cryptocurrency mining. And so he's lowering the forecast for AMD to $7.50 from $13 and from $200 into to $200 from $215 for NVIDIA because he believes that NVIDIA has a larger overall profile with AI, deep learning, a whole bunch of other stuff that's not relating to their graphics, their gaming graphics card market, which makes a whole lot of sense. AMD sent a statement in return to this article saying, a report was published on AMD which hypothesized very high revenue for Ethereum related GPU sales. As a reminder, on our Q417 earnings conference call, we stated that the percentage of annual revenue related to blockchain was approximately mid single digit percentage, so let's say high sixes. We had significant growth in the GPU business outside of blockchain in Q4 as we ramped up our Radeon Vega products. Okay, yeah, people bought those for anything besides mining. Our GPU compute products and our Apple business, so that makes sense. We also spoke about strength across the rest of our business with AMD Ryzen and AMD Epic product momentum. Okay, so basically AMD is denying the fact that their, their revenue is coming from 20% of Ethereum sales, Ethereum related sales, but I mean, they basically had to say that people are buying Vega for anything besides mining, which is, is highly suspect, highly suspect, because from the day they came out, they were out of stock, everybody and their dog was buying them for mining and it was this whole big hullabaloo of not really being able to get your hands on them so i don't think that has anything to do with their sales they're claiming a high mid single percentage that that's up to them but that's this is one of the interesting things that is coming out in the cryptocurrency scene right now ethereum which was held to be one of these massive asic resistance 
uh, algorithms for which was a very popular thing for people to mine is now coming down and is going to be replaced by an ASIC machine. So the creator of Ethereum has always maintained that he's definitely against ASICs and he will do whatever he can in order to make sure that Ethereum doesn't fall to ASICs, meaning even if they have to, they'll perform a hard fork just like Monero is going to. However, this begs the question of if Bitmain and all of the rest of these companies are going to be selling the ASICs, one of the widely held beliefs when it comes to these, these ASIC machines is that these companies mine with them first before they end up selling them. Because it makes a whole lot of sense. If it's profitable for somebody out, for somebody who you're selling them to, to make this much money, if you don't release it to them and nobody else has these ASICs going on, you can make this much money because you can mine all of the coins that they aren't able to because they're still mining on GPUs. If they want to compete against my RX 580, there's no way the 30 mega hash is going to compare to, you know, let's, I mean, let probably even close to half a giga hash, I would imagine as possible with an ASIC, maybe even up to a giga hash. I haven't read anything on uh, what what we could see from these or what the price would be, but I, I would bet that it's going to be something that will slaughter most people's mining operations at this point and could actually this, this is also an interesting prospect. It could actually be the reasons why profits are down so much besides the fact that, you know, Ethereum has fallen quite heavily from its, you know, grace days where it was over $1,000, $1,300, is the fact that if Bitmain and all of the rest of these companies, Baikal and whoever else might be producing these ASICs, if they're already mining on them, they're the ones who have created the difficulty spike that we've been seeing. It's not a spike, but we've seen the higher difficulty that's resulting in poor mining performance and less profits for everybody else. But no matter how you slice it, it definitely appears like there is bad news coming for GPU crypto miners, no matter where you turn, whether it be the Crypto Knight ASIC that's coming out, whether it be the terribly low profits that are happening right now, the super high cost to entry with graphics cards, as well as ASICs to the fact that freaking the difficulty is much higher. Like there's the profitability that is in crypto mining right now, which we have a video coming out about this either today or tomorrow, I'm not exactly sure, so just hold tight on that. We're gonna go more in detail on the current state of GPU mining, but it's just in this terrible state right now, but it's also not in a terrible enough state that it's really satisfying all of the desires that gamers had for the crash, where they wanted the cards returned to them, because you know, if mining crashes, that means that we're gonna have graphics cards at MSRP. We also did a video on that, and we can absolutely see that it's not quite to that level, although it is trending that way. So it's, there's this toss up of mining's not the greatest. I wouldn't recommend that anybody actually go out and buy graphics cards for mining right now. But then at the same time, we're not seeing the relief that we were supposed to, which could be due to a variety of factors, including the fact that AMD and Nvidia are moving on from producing the graphics cards that are currently in the market. They're trying to sell them out and then that they're gonna be launching their new graphics card architectures sometime soon. But then this also, this Ethereum ASIC could put potentially put in jeopardy any mining related uh, SKUs that AMD might, or Nvidia might be having coming out in the future. It's it's all a giant, you know, I, it's it's all a giant game of chicken where you're trying to get the other guy to blink first. Except for it's giant mining machines versus gamers. It's all terrible. Anyways. So I want to know what your thoughts on this are. Do you think that Vitalik, or not Vitalik, but Ethereum in general, do you think Ethereum will allow this to happen? Do you think that they will uh, hard fork? They'll change the algorithm so that it's no longer compatible with what the ASIC is mining on and so that everybody can still mine Ethereum at its current, or at, at a decent profitability, but then also to keep the network decentralized because that's a huge issue with ASICs. As soon as you can conglomerate power, which Bitmain is likely doing right now, then you completely remove the decentralization aspect of the blockchain. So do you think Ethereum will do that. Do you think this is a great win for gamers that we can finally get off with this Ethereum nonsense that we can move on to something that will allow us to actually have well, relatively decent priced GPUs, especially when the new generation is coming out? Let me know your thoughts either down in the comments or over in our Discord. I'm trying to be pretty active over there. Yes, still new hotel rooms. I'm on the road constantly. It is it is a rough situation for me right now. And I thank you guys for all the feedback that you're giving me in the videos telling me how uh, how I'm doing things right, how I'm doing things wrong. Definitely appreciate all of the feedback. We're trying our best to make sure that we're bringing out information to you guys, um, regardless of the current situation that I'm in and my ability to produce it. I just, I'm gonna have to do it because <laughs>
it's just, it's just what you have to do as a YouTube channel. Anyways, let me know your thoughts. Yes, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. I am Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. And by the way, this is a teaser for uh, an upcoming video. If any of you guys can figure out what I'm doing, props to you. You win 1,000 internet points. Good job. Meme reveal.